What's going on everybody? This is Chopper. Thanks for checking out the video and the channel. Today we're going to be doing a guide. So this is how to do chroma keying and or green screen, blue screen on Halo 3. So this is what I downloaded. They actually just got posted. I'm the first download for this. So the link will be in the description. Basically just adds a green screen and a blue screen. So I'm going to check it out, see what the map's like, and then I'm going to show you how to actually do chroma keying on Sony Vegas, which is the video software that I use, or the video editing software that I use. So yeah, let's check this out. Let's waste no more time. All right, we're here. It's pretty green looking. Looks like we got some weapons in case we were trying to pose up a little bit. So I'm assuming this is going to bring us into the blue screen side. Wow, this is pretty trippy, huh? All right, well, let's go back to the green screen. So in theory, right now, I could chroma key this and make it look like I was playing on like a Call of Duty map or something. Or like I was like outside in real life. Pretty much can put whatever I want with the chroma key. I'm going to go in the theater mode and get some shots of my Spartan. I guess I should go this way. I'm going to just see how far up against the wall I can actually go. I want to back up here. All right, so we're all the way up against the wall. Let me just get my Spartan just standing, I guess. Get a little teabagging going. So if you don't know, chroma keying is basically the effect that you apply to footage with a green screen and it, <clears throat> and it removes the background. So then you could essentially put any background you want and make it look like your Halo Spartan is anywhere you want. So Halo 4 had a green screen built right in, which was cool. And it was always a shame that Halo 3 didn't. But this mod seems nice. Seems like it could be handy. I don't know how, how much I would use it, but for people that make intense machinima, you could use this to make the machinima process a lot easier. Let's get some shots in here. And I'm gonna go into theater mode and get some more footage of that, but I'm not gonna show that in the video. I'm just gonna bring us right to Sony Vegas. All right, so here we are in Sony Vegas. I got the two clips that I want to chroma key. So the first thing you wanna do is hit insert video track and you'll see it adds this track up top. Basically, you want to just move these tracks above because we're going to be removing the background on these tracks and the background we're going to place beneath it and the track below. So you basically just want to have a video track underneath the clip you're going to chroma key. And then what you want to do is go to video effects and you'll see chroma key or you click that and it'll give you all these options, blue screen, green screen. Since we're doing a green screen, you want to take, click and drag and drop right onto your clip. And as you can see, all the green went away and now it's black. We're not exactly done yet. You wanna click show mask only and see how the Spartan turns white and the background's kinda of gray. You wanna adjust these knobs until the background is completely black and then the item that you wanna have stay, for example, the Spartan is completely white. So yeah, you can still kinda of see detail of the Spartan, that's no good. So you want to put this down until perfectly white. See how it's completely white now? And then you can uncheck that and boom. Now we have the Spartan with the green screen removed. Blur amount basically just adds a blur around the edges. Sometimes it's nice to just have it up a little bit just in case there's a green outline around your character. But if you have perfect white to black ratio, that should not happen. So now what you want to do is you want to put your background right here in the video track underneath your clip. All right, so I put this picture of Shaq. <laughs> you can put anything you want. You could put a video or whatever. But as you can see, there's the Spartan on Shaq's chest. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, Chroma King is a really fun thing to mess around with, especially if you have your own green screen in person. It's really fun. This map's cool. I'm going to try to mess around with it a little bit. See, what's cool about this though, so I'll show you something else. We could copy that, add another video track, paste this up here, and then essentially what we could do is make it look like there's two Spartans. This is a technique some machinima makers do. 
so they can make it look like there's a lot of characters on screen without actually having to have a lot of characters in the game. So now you could like put two Spartans in one spot. Very interesting stuff. Now this clip, I set the HUD. Make it so now it's gonna look like we're on a map of Shaq's face. There's really no point in playing that. It's just me talking. But as you can see now, it kind of looks like we're like on a map of Shaq. <laughs> but it, see how the HUD's a little, the HUD kind of looks weird. You can't see the grenade counter in the top left anymore. And the shield looks a little weird. It's kind of tough when you're trying to chroma key things that are transparent. Like the elements of the HUD are transparent, so it kind of comes out weird. But when you do stuff like this, it looks good. Now we got four Spartans. Very cool. So yeah, if you found this helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribe if you want to see more mods and games, especially Halo. Uh, leave a comment if you thought this was cool. And uh, yeah, consider downloading the map. Make your own chroma key effects. And have a good day. This has been Chopper. Take it easy.